Hi, John with Fix It Planet here. Today we've got a Huawei Nexus 6P. It is pronounced Huawei, but I like to call it the Howie. This one is banged up pretty bad. Uh, it's got a big dent in the side of it as well, near the volume keys. And we're going to do a USB-C charging dock swap. Real quick repair. Take our SIM card out. And then we're going to remove these two strips on the bottom and the top of the phone. Here and here. And uh, after warming them up a little bit, I'm going to use uh, the thinnest X-Acto knife tip I can get in there. To get it to get an opening get started and then uh, we're going to use the plastic pick to get the rest of this uh, adhesive cut so we don't deform the plastic too much And the bottom side is uh, it's not too terribly bad. It's still really tightly fit, so it is uh, very difficult to get to get a gap started. But the top part's uh, even worse because the plastic could crack on you uh, or chip. It's I don't know. Some people s s are saying it's glass. I, I don't think it's glass. It's actually a, a hard plastic, but. In any case, it could actually chip or crack on you, so kind of be careful um, when you're removing this portion. I found right there near uh, this little spot next to this uh, band on the top, I was able to get that tool in there just enough, but the metal tool was still too thick to get in through there, so we had to switch over to the pick which uh, is a very thin one and it slipped right on in for me and we could cut through that adhesive with that um, I saw somebody use um, some piece of metal tin or something uh, I thought that was kind of a, a, a neat idea in any case uh, there's a couple screws on the top and four on the bottom that we have to take out those are just regular Phillips head screws they're all the same length and this back housing uh, will come off the entire in rest of the phone will come out of this uh, rear housing so be careful that you don't damage the display when you're removing it and um, this one's banged up pretty bad so there was a the frame's a little out of shape anyway. Um, that may have, have uh, actually helped a little bit. But this uses a USB-C, a uh, USB dock. And stop short there of the uh, side buttons. You don't want to run your tool along, along there. You might break off some of those buttons. So you're going to stop short there. And then I just used my spudger to get the, the rest of this frame and uh, display out of the rear housing. So on this side here, you only have to worry about the SIM, SIM tray, which is located on that side, but there's a lot more room. On this side here, you can see there's a lot of little buttons there that you could easily knock off or damage if you run your tool through there. So concentrate on the other side this side here only has that sim tray right there to worry about so just be sure to be careful around that area now this uh, charging dock is just going to be an easy swap we're not going to do any soldering in this repair and so it's going to be pretty quick and easy we are going to disconnect the battery first though and I want to show you the, the new dock. And we're going to compare uh, the old dock with the new dock here in a little bit. And hopefully you'll be able to see 
why we're replacing it. The old dock has a really bad burn, it melted and everything. So we have one screw here holding down a metal bracket over three pop connectors. And um, it hinges in on this side here where I'm kind of pointing there, right on, right there, right there. It hinges in and then it just screws down on the other side. And then uh, one pop connector for the battery will get us disconnected. So the charging dock is going to sit right in on in place there. Now I'm trying to show you, I don't know if you can see the burn on that, but we'll look at both of them here in a second. There's a lot of little components around that pop connector there, so if that charger dock is not damaged, you want to be careful that you don't pop knock any of those components off when you remove that cable. And then the antenna there uh, connects to the board and one screw holds it in place along with another little metal uh, tab on the frame so there hopefully you can see the burn in that in any case we're just going to slide the top of this board underneath a metal uh, tab right there that sticks out from the frame and holds the top side kind of down in place and then the screw goes back in go ahead and put our pop connector back on reattach our antenna make sure the antenna is laying nice and firmly down inside the the little channel so it doesn't get pinched reconnect our battery and again pointing at the spot where this little uh, piece here on the end that slides underneath uh, kind of like a, a sort of hinge it just slides inside underneath that end and then the screw goes back in on the other side so again remember these buttons are on the side so kind of Pay attention to that when you're putting the rear housing back on so you don't knock any of that off. I'm going to put the charging dock down in first and then apply a little pressure, snap everything back into place, put our screws back in. We will be wanting to put some fresh adhesive on uh, these uh, end caps. These little covers will not go back in properly with the old adhesive. Nope, doesn't work. So we're gonna remove that uh, old adhesive. I'm just gonna start scraping off some of the excess adhesive and then we'll clean it up with the residue uh, with some alcohol and apply some fresh adhesive We'll also remove all of the leftover adhesive off of the uh, plastic caps as well. Get them all cleaned up and ready. So as you can see, the bottoms still have adhesive. We're gonna remove all that, get everything prepped. They're nice and clean now. And new adhesive has been attached. Be sure that you don't touch the back of the camera lens on the cover. So we can see we are charging now. 
which is good. That's what we want. Peel off our masking. The top uh, plastic cover is, is fairly rigid. Uh, and we'll make sure that the nothing is on the camera lens. So we don't have to take that back off again to clean it. And then we can just sort of snap it back into place. And that one actually goes in fairly well. We use a cleaning cloth to kind of smooth it out, make sure everything's in place. The bottom one is not as rigid and uh, it flexes a little bit more, makes it actually a little harder to get into position. And it will require uh, a good deal of pressure to snap it all the way in. So as you can see, it's, a, it's not going to look right if it's not 100% sitting flat and uh, flush with the frame. And once it's nice and flush with the frame, it'll, everything will smooth out and look just like it did before we took it out. And again, I just used the cleaning cloth to help me smooth that out and uh, avoid putting any dents in the plastic using my fingernail or a tool. Everything looks good. We'll go ahead and power it on. Forgot to put the SIM card in. So we'll get that popped in before this thing has a chance to boot up. So it'll be detected. And we're almost done. Well, I guess we're actually are done. So we're cleaning up our mess here. But we're just gonna show and um, the date and time is off on this thing. I don't know what the customer has done to this phone, but the time is completely wrong. The date's completely wrong. And uh, I think that he has an alarm set on there to wake him up at a certain time, so that may be the time he wants to wake up. 6.59, so that, I don't know. In any case, um, a few minutes later, we got up to about 4%. Everything's working fine. The customer will be happy. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye-bye now.